one question I used to get asked a lot, but not so much now, but I'll answer it anyway, is, is it safe? Mixed martial arts has gone for a real transformation over the last few years um, through regulation and, and also the image of our sport, the way it's run um, and the coaching as well. The coaching is a way higher standard than it used to be in mixed martial arts. So the sport is much safer than it used to be, but it's always been a relatively safe sport. It is a combat sport. Um, there is contact, absolutely. So whenever there's contact in anything, you will get bumped and bruised. Of course you will. But it's also very safe. Winter Warrior, the training program that we designed is around the safety of the contestants, the participants. Okay, The first 10 weeks of the training program is all about what I call creating bulletproof humans. So there's lots of strength and conditioning. Um, there's lots of basic technical movements. So your body gets used to moving in certain patterns which are gonna be very foreign to it at the beginning. Um, and then strengthening your body through those movement patterns. So the idea is when you go into the second phase of the series, we get to that bulletproof point where your body can take knocks and banks. It can get moved and, and twisted in certain directions with strength, and it's not gonna break down. If you go straight into those kind of drills, live drills from day one, 90% of the people are going to be out within three weeks because your body's not used to it. So our program is designed to strengthen, teach movement, and then put into practice. And so it is a very safe program. With Finale, yes, of course, we're talking about competing in mixed martial arts, but we run a very strict um, rule set that we is passed down internationally. And we have eight ounce gloves, which are a much bigger glove than Pro Fighters wear. It's got a much bigger pad. Um, it pretty much eliminates cuts. Um, and we wear shin pads and the rounds are much shorter. And you must know that as when we run finales, the referees know that this is amateur fighting. These, you, the people on the Winter Warrior Series aren't there to win a title. Their paycheck, whether they feed their children over the next month, isn't dependent on whether they win. So. If you're at any point in that finale where you're not responding or the referee feels that, you know, you're probably not going to do any better than you currently are, there's a good chance that the fight will be stopped early, way earlier than you would in a professional fight. So, yes, we, we pride ourselves in the fact that it's as safe as we can possibly make it. Um, but you're learning a combat sport. And being the fact it is a combat sport is what it makes the change in people. So the fundamental change you get from the series, that mental strength, is because you're in a combat sport. You know you are going to be fighting. That's the whole point. So, you know, you need that, you need that little bit of an edge. But when you finish this series, they all all these little marks, they kind of get badges of honor. You want, you want to feel that you've been training. You want to feel that you've gone in and given it everything at Finale. So Winter Warrior Series is as safe as it can possibly be. Um, we've never had a serious injury in all our finales over five years. So it's not something to worry about. So yes, we're a very safe sport. And yes, you will get bumped and bruised. But that's all part of the process.